Welcome to the Third Wave Business Systems EFT File Format Configuration Tool Overview. My name is Dennis Tucker. I'm a technical manager at Third Wave, and I'll be providing you with a demonstration on how to customize your EFT file format. With the release of Build 3 of the TWBS EFT processing application, Functionality has been added that allows the user to customize the EFT file layout either by copying and editing one of the pre-installed file formats or by designing their own layout from scratch to meet their bank's formatting requirements. EFT file format assignment occurs during step two of the bank setup wizard. To use an existing format as the template for your custom file layout, Select the format from the drop-down list. Please note, both pre-installed formats and custom formats can be used as the source for copying an EFT file layout. Click the Copy Format button. The Format Maintenance screen will preload the record types used in the layout being copied. Enter a format name for the new layout in the field provided. The country will default to the value of the source format, but can be changed if necessary. All record types available for the designated country will be listed in the drop-down. The maximum length in bytes of the file lines is defaulted based upon the record type selected, but can be edited as needed. To add a record type to the format, highlight and select the Add Row option from the right-click menu to add a row between existing record types, or select an option from the drop-down in the Record Types column of the last line. To remove a record type, highlight the record type that you want to remove and select the Delete Row option from the right-click menu. Once your file has all record types needed, click the Save and Continue button. The data for each field of each record type will be loaded into the File Format Configuration tool. Each record type assigned to the format will be available in the drop-down in the Record Type column. Each field has its own description, the source for the data, options of which include blank, constant data, a data field, an entry field, a system field, or a transferred field. Each field has a value, noting whether it's a required field, an optional field, or a mandatory field. Each field also has a specific data type. Some are generic, such as alphanumerics, blanks, and numerics, while some other data types are more specific, such as Julian dates for the NACHA and Canadian formats, batch counts, transit routing numbers, and immediate origin codes. The value in the length column indicates the number of bytes assigned per field and the value in the start column indicates the position on the record type line where the field begins. The value for start column will automatically be recalculated on changes in length, additions of lines to the record type, or removal of lines from the record type. The value column contains hard-coded values for either constant or entry field source data records. For entry field records where data is to be pulled from tables, the table and field columns should be filled in. In instances where the user table TWBS EFT values and U underscore value are used for table and field values, the user will be prompted to complete these field values in step three of the bank setup wizard. SAP tables and fields may also be designated to pull data from system tables. For transferred fields, record types and descriptions of other values in the file format setup can be used to designate repeating values. In this instance, the batch header record originating DFI ID is to be repeated in the entry detail record trace number field. If specific values are to be used as fill characters for a field, 
It can be designated in the column provided. To add a row to the record type, highlight the field before which you want to add the row. Click the Add Row option from the right-click menu. Specify the record type. Enter a description. Select a data source type. Designate if it's mandatory, optional, or required. Select a data type and a length. In this case, I'm entering an alphanumeric constant of one character. Now, because I've added a byte to the record type, I'm going to need to alter one of the other fields and reduce it by one byte in order to maintain my maximum byte length for the record type. Once I've made this adjustment, I'm going to click the Save button and save my record format. Once the format is saved, I'll be returned to the Bank Setup Wizard. My copied format is now available in the dropdown and can be assigned to my bank. To edit my format, I can simply click the Edit Format button. I can click the Copy Format button to copy my new format to another custom format, or I can remove my custom format by clicking the Remove Format button. Please note that editing and removing format options are not available on the four pre-installed EFT file formats. To create a new EFT file format from scratch, click the Define New option. Enter a format name and select a country. Select all desired record types for your new format. Then click the Save and Continue button. The format configuration screen will load with no records in it. You will need to create each record for each record type and field for your EFT file format. This completes our overview of the EFT file format configuration tool. For more information on Third Wave's electronic funds transferring application or any of the other applications that Third Wave offers, please visit our website at www.twbs.com. You can click the Contact Us link in the upper right corner of the page. Existing Third Wave partners and customers can obtain more information through the support portal by clicking the Customer Support link in the upper right corner of the page. Thank you for your time and attention.